In the early 1960s, two thefts occurred at the Archaeological Survey of India Museum at Nalanda in Bihar. 14 bronze statues were stolen on 22nd August 1961 and two went missing in March 1962. One of these bronzes was found last year at the European Art Fair and settled by a London dealer. The Association for Research into Crimes Against Art and the India Pride Project brought it to the notice of the Metropolitan Police's Arts and Antiques Unit, who took it upon themselves to ensure its return to India. And on Indian Independence Day, 15th August 2018, the statue was returned to India. Now, that's a job well done, right? But actually, this is the first and the only case of the return of these stolen bronzes in recent times. Another bronze statue of Buddha in Dharma Chakra Mudra seated on a lion in Padrasana has been traced back to the Los Angeles County Museum of Art or LACMA. But they are neither willing to acknowledge it or return it. And what is shocking is that LACMA has been dodging the return for over four decades now. That the statue which resides in LACMA was part of the group stolen from Nalanda was made known in the 1970s itself. India had made a formal claim too, but LACMA dismissed the same for want of conclusive evidence. A joint paper by Italy and India, tabled in the United Nations in 1974, lists various items that were stolen as well as their current location. The seated Buddha, along with two other bronzes, one of Bodhisattva and the other of Tara, are among the items listed in this paper as those illegally exported or stolen and currently residing at LACMA. But internationally, museums mandate photographic evidence and records kept by the ASI aren't something to be proud of. It has taken decades for India to prove that they belong to the country. Thankfully, former Director General of ASI, Dr. Sachindra S. Biswas, had a record of all the antiques stolen during that period from the Nalanda Museum, which helped India Pride Project validate its claim and get the Buddha in London back home. These archival documents also have photographic evidence to prove that the Buddha in LACMA was indeed stolen from the ASI Museum in Nalanda. There are photos of the statue when it was in Nalanda. While the London statue did make its way back home, the one at Los Angeles is yet to return. What more conclusive evidence on LACMA can be asked for to hold on to what rightfully belongs to India? It is time that Indian antiques are brought back home and the system to ensure that they are kept safe and well with no scope for being stolen yet again is put in place. For they are not just pieces of stone or molds of metal but a symbol of the country's rich past, something in which India's future can take pride.